Hey, what's happening there, ladies and germs? Elton McFull here in the Hashalaga borough of Montreal, where I've been living in for just over six years. Pretty happily, too, I might add. I mean, okay, there's the uh, dregs uh, factor, and uh, more importantly, actually, the apartment itself is not great. It's not the best apartment I ever had. It's not the worst, but it's not far. I mean, the fucking floor is all uneven, and just typical, like, all these other fucking ancient apartment buildings, well, there's not much in the light department, you know? Tabarnak. Anyway. But, that being said, it's still a cheaper four and a half than a lot of places. And four and a half means, uh, is a term for two bedrooms. Really old industrial building here on the corner of Ontario and Moto. And I thought, well, what the hell, I uh, blew it on catching the bus, the 125, I missed it. Uh, I was going to go film this vintage Ford Zodiac that was parked with all these other old cars a few blocks from here, but... Well... Thought I would be able to film it in the sun, but no, because today it's sunny and uh, winds are light. Yesterday it was windy as hell, it's like minus 15 right now, 5 degrees Fahrenheit. But, uh, yeah, I went to see that Ford Zodiac, that British-American-looking Ford, and uh, unfortunately... Uh, yeah, the old land over there. Guy moved the damn thing over, so it wasn't in the sun, and it was more closer to a building, so I didn't like that too much. So I said, well, we'll try that again some other time. So again, I thought I just got this idea, spurred a moment to figure, well, I'll start watching, walking towards the metro. I, uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Tim Horton, get old Tim Hortons there. Get myself a little breakfast sandwich. Oh, by the way, that reminds me, I want to thank Johnny. Yes, Mr. John out in, uh, I think you're in Manitoba there. You sent me a nice uh, Timmy's gift card. Really appreciate that, bud. Not the first time I get such a thing. I've had a few of those from people. and People, they know uh, how much I I enjoy Tim Hortons. Maybe too much, even. Yeah, really old building. I think this one's even older than that one. I don't know. But again, thanks again, John. That goes a long way, especially since right now, today's being the 20th of December, I told my landlord he could finally deposit my check, even though I had to borrow money to fucking cover the rent because I'm such a fucking loser. Actually, no, that's not completely true. That's the manic depression talking It's also because of the fact that I haven't fucking been paid yet for my YouTube partner, the MCM. These are the companies that promote people's videos like me when you're signed in. And uh, basically, they make you more money. And I've been with them almost six years, and uh, I don't know what the fuck happened this year. Six months ago or so, they were late also, a month. So hopefully they, they fucking paid like today or the next few days, because they said they were going to pay at the end of the week. Well, now we're at the end of the fucking week almost, so... Uh, <clears throat> let's go, ça presse. Ça presse means let's go. It's a, it's a priority, man. i got to try to slow it down there, because I walked up real fast here from my place. Fuck, I had been inside since yesterday afternoon for crying aloud. Now it's like, what, 10.30 in the morning? Oh, yeah, it was really bad yesterday. It was like, fuck it, yesterday morning alone was like minus 30 degrees Celsius. So what's that, like uh, minus 10 Fahrenheit or something? I guess. Yeah, but like I said, the winds are lighter, so... Anyway, hopefully I'll have some more money's coming in there. And people buying stuff. Christ, how can I not? I sell stuff here and there. So we sell a few things every day, every few days, so... Hopefully some stuff will come in, never mind if it's a Christmas gift or not, because, uh, you know, I'm here, as I, as I always tell people for the past, the past couple of years, I'm a drug dealer. I'm a dealer of nostalgia. Mostly in all these vintage ads I, I sell and things related, you know. I heard you, Mr. Lexus uh, IS350, I think. But did I mention that's the CP train line there? I hope I mentioned that, because fuck, I'd be a moron if I didn't. But then again, I am also on medication, so... You know, it's, <clears throat> it's funny how U-Haul, they really got their fucking act together, eh? Let's say about uh, 10 years ago or so. Because I remember that, specifically, there were some damning news reports about trucks. These old fucking ancient trucks that I like, but they were just really bad news. I mean, they just fucking, they would break down and people were killed because of those trucks. They weren't safe. You know, because unfortunately it's these independent, like, garages and stuff, gas stations that would rent them out a lot of times. And uh, they didn't do their fucking duty, their job to maintain those fleets, you know. I remember even one time, I remember I, I rented a couple of those trucks. No problems, you know, uh, years ago. I remember one time I had to move about uh, 
you know, when I moved to the NDG area from Pierrefonds, that was 2005, and my dad, he rented a, he rented, I didn't have a credit card, so my dad rented for me a U-Haul truck, and it was your typical, you know, fair, 92 to 96 F-350 Ford. And I didn't have any problems, but I remember one time we were driving to Côte St. Luke, and on Côte St. Luke Road, my dad was like, what the fuck, and he couldn't feel the steering. So that, uh, something, something glitched there, you know? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I haven't filmed it in a long time. It seems it's an old car. Okay, okay, I refilmed the one that's near my house. That's 79 Malibu, but that kind of doesn't count because it's... I redid it because it's vintage. I like it. And uh, also the fact that I filmed it six years ago. As a matter of fact, that was when I was filming, you know, uh, not so much. And holy Christ, did I ever shake the camera? Oh my God. Shake, shake, shake. I attribute that to actually to smoking uh, because I was a smoker full time there and uh, I attributed that the smoke gets into the blood so it made me shake my hands because I don't I don't shake the camera anymore you know I mean I smoke weed but not that much really it's more of a you know medicinal thing like somebody having a couple of beers you know not like all the time you know what I mean This is weird because you can see I didn't show it really, but there's a condo here, eh? Look at that. Well, it looks like it's a condo. And then you got these really poor, you know, really poor working class, if if that type of apartment building. You know, those Hachalaga was poor for decades. It wasn't always like that, though. If you go back to the 60s and earlier, it was much more industries, big industries. You know, the Canadian Pacific Angus Yards and, of course, the, uh, uh, the uh, Canadian Vickers Company. That made, ironically, the uh, trains rolling stock for the uh, the Metro de Montreal. Uh, <clears throat> Digging a hole, it's not the way you treat me. Digging a hole. Da -na 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 -na. You wonder what these things are for? What are you thinking? You're thinking, what are these things for, Elton? Those are for the, um, those are for the, uh, the people who do the snow removal, the plow, because if they don't have that, then how are they going to know those trees and benches are there, you know? Especially those benches. Yeah. Oh, it's not warm, man. Not warm. Mm hmm. I hate it when I go to Tim's and I, I, I'm, I'm weary to get a coffee because I, I can't have three coffee. I already had two coffees right now. It's 10.30. I'm not going to have a third coffee right now. Plus, I'm on medication, so it doesn't necessarily drive very well. So I'm thinking about waiting on that, even though, like, the regular Timmy's coffee is pretty weak, you know? Hey, speaking of Ford F-350s, yeah, there's one right there, but it's a Bronco. See, that's what the old U-Haul trucks looks, used to look like. Again, 92 to 96 Bronco. But I remember even up until 2004, 2003, a lot of these U-Haul dealers, they even still had those fucking 79 Ford f 350 So imagine that, 79, those trucks were over 20 years old. That's crazy. And I know there's a couple of them that survived there. Even there was one, I took a photo years ago, and uh, yeah, it was being used by a uh, some like company that you know operates fares, you know, like uh, Carney's kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it was the original colors. It's still in good shape. Black rims. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. I remember I filmed one a walk around here once, once or twice. One of them I remember was at night. Man, I'm hungry. I gotta get some food. I don't know. I'm thinking, what do I do? Do I take the metro? I'm not in a rush, you know. I think I go to Ville Saint Laurent, and, like film uh, some commuter, commuter train action. Huh? Oh, that's weird. Eh? What happened to those windows? Now I'll be replaced. You can see it has those shitty old fucking windows. I've had apartments with those. Those are fucking for the birds. All shaking and rattling when they it's windy. It don't keep the fucking heat. Ah. So I think what I might do. I don't feel like going to the metro yet. Ah, I hate the metro sometimes. It's just so boring and nothing to look at. And everybody's dark. It's just eerie. It's creepy. No, I, want, I don't like very short videos with walks, especially, so I think I'm going to... I'm going to keep it going for a bit. 
I'm gonna go get something to eat, chow dot down there. What's this color? What's this car anyway? Oh, it's a Mazda 3. I like that color. I don't think you're supposed to park there, but anyway. Not my prerogative. You see that guy who just went by there with his beard? That's like fucking mandatory if you're in your 30s or under. You gotta have a fucking beard living down here. If I have a fucking beard, it's because I don't feel like shaving. It's not a fucking protest against the man and the stem. Not that I totally agree with it, but half of these fucking people are fucking communists. So if you got a problem with what I say, too fucking bad. You see that old man that stopped there? He shaved. That's, that's an example of how it was. Oh, what timing! Look at this! That's a brand new Pierce! <laughs> wow! I gotta get that responding. Shit, that's brand new! Wow, oh, where did they get that? Must have been very recently, because I was by that station like last week, and uh, or the week before. Either I didn't notice it, or it just got that truck. Topless bar there. Yeah, or as we say in French, it would dancers. Dancers means dance. Dancers. Yeah, erotic dancers. That's funny because I was actually thinking I would do a walk, continue this walk to that fire station, to Station 19, which is in, which is on the state, uh, which is on the street, you know. Ah, tuile tabac, Mac. Jesus Christ! Look at this fucking wire that's not my headphone wire is not connected to my, it's not connected to my uh, headphones, and uh, I got it in the pocket here, curled up, keeps popping out. <sighs> There's a public pool there. What are iconic, what, 80s? I think it dates back to the uh, Montreal symbol there. Montreal, Quebec, in Canada, la la la. Joy Noel! Joy Noel! Feliz Navidad! Merry Christmas! We are five days away from Christmas. Xmas. How the hell did that come about, eh? Yeah. But unfortunately, um, you know, it's not like the song goes, it's the most wonderful, it's the most horrible time of the year where the days are short and it gets dark at 4.30 and people are stressed out because they need to buy money and there's layoffs and there's problems with money and money's tight and everybody comes down to fucking money. Jesus Christ. Think about it. You know, you, you would like to think that the world runs on love, but not in this part of the world. It's the almighty fucking dollar. Zooming down here on the Ontario, scrap. School bus there, fire truck just turned. Look at that zoom, baby. Looking down Ontario Street, looking west towards downtown. There's a huge Portuguese church there with the green roof. <coughs> so we're gonna keep meandering along here. And uh, the uh, STM Frontenac bus garage is due north over here, behind the behind this building. You can't see it. Behind this is uh, Place Frontenac there, which is a slash. Well, it's more of a uh, old folks' uh, residence building and a quasi shopping center at the bottom. I say quasi because not many shops there are left. So, uh, and there's Montre Metro Frontenac, la. Frontenac Metro Station. Fuck, I almost didn't even mention it or show it because of the angle of the sun, everything on the side, like fucking dark and all that you see what I mean so <sighs> nice little truck little Toyota I like it fusions okay my landlord has one of those this eh, Nissan ain't uh, Nissan is not at all what the fuck there used to be that's for sure oh my god Putain. Uh, I've been to the subway a couple of times Oh, they removed that faux cart that's usually there. I guess it's not good to have it there during the winter. I like buildings that are round, you know? Like curves. I like curves, you know? Which is funny because some of my favorite cars are all these fucking big square boats. They practically don't even have a curve. Unless it's to a fucking headlight or tail light or something like that. Very front neck. That over there on the right, that huge building there, that's the uh, uh, the uh, tobacco, uh, RGR Tobacco Building. What's it called now though? GTI Group is called now, but it used to be called RGR Tobacco. 
my uh, landlord I was talking about has a friend who actually works there. And last year I actually framed a picture that I cut out of a 1976 Canadian Industries book which showed the fucking front of this place. Sunny day, all these old cars and trucks driving parked there and stuff. Really cool. Yeah, oh, he was really happy about that. I sold him that for like, I don't know, 15 bucks, 10 bucks. Ooh, look at this. Funky mural, can you dig it? Right on. One of my longtime subscribers, he especially loves my trucking videos there. You know, he keeps asking me, when are you going to have snow removal videos coming up? Do you have snow removal videos coming up? I'm like, Felix saying, no, I don't fucking have any goddamn snow removal com videos coming up. Because the seasons are out of fucking whack. I and mean, what do people think that we live in Canada and fucking snows all the time or what? Not in the last so many years. Oh, responding! Responding! Is he responding? I heard the horn. I heard the horn. I don't see anything. Hmm. I might have gone north on uh, the Lormier. Oh boy, the camera has a hard time focusing when it's cold like that. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, and I'm like, he keeps asking me about the snow removal videos. Well, fuck, I mean, if you look at the long term forecast, today is the 20th. There's no goddamn snow in the forecast. There's nothing in the forecast except for sunshine, which I, I love, of course, because I, I need sun, me, you know? Uh, but I mean, uh, of course I want a snowstorm, but pfft, maybe if we're lucky, it's gonna, the long-term forecast uh, is gonna change, you know, for uh, next week, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, that happens. I specifically remember, actually, uh, let's see, when was it? It was uh, seven years ago, 27th of December, day after Boxing Day, 2012, big-ass snowstorm. They had said it was gonna be 20 centimeters. It's 42, 45 centimeters we got. Look at this nice looking uh, Crown Victoria, very nice. I'm willing to bet actually this car's from Florida or something because for one thing it's a weird color. And it doesn't look like it's rusted out. And a lot of people who had these didn't drive them very much because they were old people. Or maybe I was wrong. No, I'm wrong. Never mind what I just said about the Florida thing. That guy's done the whole like fucking paint everything black where it was rust. Still looks like shit. But I still love those cars. What's this building? Uh, I think it's a school. Any sign you see that's like that, that's blue over green like that, that's a school. And look at this, I think they have a box here for, it looks kind of like a mailbox, but it's like for free books. Hey, speaking of storm removals, uh, sorry. No, it's an ad to tell people not to leave their crap. What the hell is this? Jesus, I thought there was a box, because some people on their properties, they make these boxes. Oh yeah, it's right here. And usually there's books in there. But there's no books in there, so that's a good sign. People need to keep reading. You know? Even I don't read enough. Holy cow, that's going to be me there in fucking, uh, if I make it 40 years from now. And I don't see too many old men walking in FS. That's, uh, this guy walks all the time. Usually I do that, but uh, uh, yeah, well, like I was talking with my aunt the other day, I was like, my aunt, you see, I'm like, well, I can't really do that too much anymore. Like, like seriously, once I get to uh, that fire station, that's it. I'm putting the brakes on. I'm taking a bus because like, I'm not going to fucking walk all the way to Berry, you know what I mean? Because uh, I may feel okay now, but later on it'll catch up to me, you know? Of course, I'm not stupid. It goes without saying. I mean, I'm walking that way towards that fire station because I've filmed a lot of fire trucks responding from there. I've had more luck with fire trucks responding lately than anything else, actually. I don't know why that is. I'm still looking for a clip or two to finish my uh, paramedics responding uh, video there from uh, this month. Which, of course, I didn't film much of because yeah, I didn't have the timing and B, I've been recovering for that stupid pericarditis heart condition. If I haven't mentioned it, like, uh, you know, 102 times. You know? Oh, I don't think I noticed that. Look at that. There's two murals that look similar. One across the street from each other. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. That's pretty cool. 
That's actually really cool. Maybe I'll make that my thumbnail. Look at that. Dig that. That's that's awesome. Looks like it's right there on the corner of Iberville, or as the English more than me call Iberville. But you see, all look at all this jazz with these fucking lampposts and all this stuff. This is all recent. You know why they're doing that in these parts of towns like this? Because these parts of town used to be really poor. Now they're changing quick. People with money are moving in here. Students are moving here. You know what I mean? A lot of properties are being bought up, renovated, turned into Airbnbs and all that shit. That's why they, they adapted to that. They, they, they've changed certain, the look of certain parts of the street. You know? Oh, there's a cold wind now, though. Oh, boy. Here's a fucking old Depaneur. That's when you know a Depaneur, which is French for convenience store. You know it's old when it doesn't have an area code and a number. Because I think it's been probably more than 15 years since it's been mandatory here or any other place in North America to have to dial an area code, you know, to actually be able to call somebody or somewhere. Oh, fuck, it's more windy now. It's annoying. Oh, shit, there's my bus. But it's scrap. And the one before that that I missed was not scrap. So maybe the one after this will be not scrap. What do you think? And now we're at Fulham. Yeah. I like this street. I gotta tell you why I like this street. First of all, that building over there is humongous building. That's the SQ, Sûreté du Québec. That's the Quebec Provincial Police Force Headquarters. Major, major. Another reason why I like this street is because it's, you see, it goes on this nice hill there going up. It's like San Francisco. Like, so many streets are like that, you know? I really like that shit. You know? Sure. Well, I'm not in a rush to go there now, am I? Christ. Oh, fortunately, when it's this cold, you can't stand too long. You're just going to fucking freeze for crying out loud. So there you go. Oh, oh, there's a cold wind now. Wasn't any, there wasn't any wind over there. Oh God, it's because I'm not in the sun either. Jesus Murphy. Oh, you know what I could do actually, come to think of it. Maybe what I would do, which is even closer, is I could, I could walk south on Delormia. I've never done that before. I walk right down to uh, uh, Metro Papineau, Papineau Metro. Oh god, can you believe this fucking December 20th? It looks like January 20th or February 20th. Fucking minus 15, oh my lord. A lot of mercy. And these guys paid me a visit when I thought I was gonna have a heart attack over a month ago. Give or take. Love that mural. Like, what did I say about buildings with curves? I love buildings with curves. Love anything with curves. Look at this old fucking shipping company, eh, it looks like? Man, that's fucking antique with it. Imagine back in the day when any trucks were parked there, semi trucks and stuff. I always thought about doing a drawing of that once, one day, or a painting, you know, like one of those nice old, really old buildings with all these loading docks here like that. And you put like, I could put like two, three trucks, you know, semi or not, parked there. You know, like an international with a Ford and a Mac or something like that. You know. Quel ce que chose comme ça là? Burr, God damn it! Shit, you know what I just remembered actually? Just remembered, I filmed a. Uh, fuck, you know what? I filmed a. Uh, an old Chevy van. A couple of blocks, blocks from that fire station. I'd forgotten about it. That was a few weeks ago. And. You know what? I haven't seen it since. I think I fucking deleted it actually. Fuck's sake. Did I? I'm gonna have to look at that. Fuck, I wish I was at home actually to, to find that, to check that out, because I don't know. I don't remember if I fucking kept that video or not. I mean, it's not amazing because it's not like it's a rare truck. It was like a whatever, 90 to 96. It wasn't even clean. It was dirty, but still. I don't know. Yes, I'm having a flashback when I filmed all this uh, in the one evening, I don't know, six months ago or something like that in the summer. Yeah. Cool, eh? Very nice. Details, details, details. Speaking of internationals. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a beer. What kind of weird name is that for a beer? It must have been based on somebody's last name, Cot. I don't think there's an S missing. I think I might have deleted that video, seriously. I'm not sure. I hate when I do that. You know when you film as much shit as I do, it, it's impossible to keep everything. You're gonna fucking delete something by mistake. It's just... This shit, that's probably what I did too. I shouldn't even delete anything unless it's like a few months old. That's what I should do. God damn, it's cold. God, it's the putain in the mouth. Oh. That's when you know it's really cold. You don't even have to have much wind and it's too cold. It's too freezing. I forget, God, this. No? I'm gonna keep the truck of these streets here. What's this guy got? City of Montreal. See that thing that it's covering? That's for those trenches, you know, when they're like, they've dug a humongous hole, right? And they have to put that in there to keep from uh, any kind of like landslides happening there so nobody gets buried in there, you know? Because, you know, they dug it up and some, a lot of times the, the, the soil is loose. You know what I mean? All right. So there is Caserne de Pompier 19, fire station 19, and one big cool kitty. Actually, that cat looks vicious, more like meow. Meow. <laughs> the old La Fleurs. The old restaurant started by the flower. Let's cross over here now. Okay guys, so that's it. It's fucking freezing. I'm not warmer now because I'm not walking fast enough. And uh Jill David. Anyway, so I uh, hope you like this shit. There's another school here. And uh, I wish you all be well. And yeah, check me out on Patreon if you want to help out the cause. Do this full time. Uh, uh, yeah, well, whatever you want to send. You want to send a token of your appreciation. I would, of course, really appreciate that. If you don't want to do the Patreon shit, Whatever. I want to send you any kind of donation uh, via PayPal or an e-transfer in Canada. My email is Elton McFall. Elton, like Elton John McFall. M C F A L L. Elton McFall at hotmail.com. Thanks again. I really appreciate you guys watching. Take care.